Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm back. Hi everyone, what's up? It's been a while. It's Ralph, and I'm back after a little break. First of all, I just want to say sorry for not uploading here for the past three and a half months. I actually have two reasons for it though. One, obviously life happened. I've been mainly focusing on myself and my friends and I needed to take some time off to make sure that when I get back here, I'd be ready to upload at least more consistently again. And two, I was mainly active on Twitter to try and raise awareness for Palestine. They're currently having a genocide committed against them by Israel. If you are in a position where you're able to financially support them, please consider doing so. There are some links for places where you can donate, educate yourself, and more in the description. And if you're still here, I appreciate your patience while I was gone. To make up for it, this video will be a Q&A! Woo! Before we start though, I've been planning on some video ideas that I already have in mind, but I want to make sure if you guys are interested too. One, I want to make a video going over the LGBTQ plus representation in object shows, and another I'm currently working on is with another friend. And yep, those are my main videos right now, and I'm also still open to video ideas you guys suggest to me, so please let me know in the comments below. Now it's time for the Q&A! I made a post to you guys in my community tab and my Twitter to gather all these questions that I'll be answering right here. Unfortunately, I won't get to every question, so I'm sorry in advance if you don't see your comment here. What AI ships do you like, and who is your favorite and least favorite character in Inanimate Insanity? I mean, it's pretty hard to choose my favorite character out of everyone, but if I had to choose, it'd be Suitcase because she's so cute and seeing her progress through season 2 makes me want to hug her so bad. And as for least favorite, it's obviously Box. If you like Box, you are saying that ironically because there is no real fan out there for this character. He's a joke character that overstayed his welcome and he took a spot of what could have been an actual contestant in III. And well, if you've seen my shipping tier list video, I still like Nick Loon, Page, Fantube, and Lightbrush. But I could give an honorable mention to Soap Mike. Other than being in the OSC, what other fandoms are you interested in? Well, other stuff that I'm into right now are Total Drama, QSMP, and surprisingly DreamWorks Trolls. I'm obviously into a lot of other things, but if I listed all of them, we'd be here all day. What is my favorite human design? Well, for BFDI, BFB, Teapot, it would be Tree, and for II, it'd be Candle. Though, of course, I have tons of others, and it's fun seeing you guys' reaction to them. How do you feel about your Nickel and Elimination animation being very popular? Honestly, if I had a nickel for every time I made a genuine ship video for a red and green pairing and have it become very popular all of a sudden, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <clears throat> what are my overall thoughts for the III finale? Well, for one, I'm very excited. I think everything will come together in the end. Also, I'm on Team Cabby, which I think is a surprise to you guys because I think just because I'm the Nicklin shipper, I think Balloon deserves the win, but I don't think he deserves the win that much. I think he'd be better off as second place at least. I just think Cabby deserves it way more, and I think it'd be fun for her to break the untold rule that newbies or rejoiners can't win a season. And as for season 2, of course, I'm excited for that as well. And I hear it's coming out this year, which is great. I literally jumped the cast of I, I was participating on a game show I watch often. I don't know any of them, but they were there. I just knew. Not a question. Thought I'd mention it. Lol, that's great, Connie. Love that for you. Also, you guys should definitely check out Connie's channel. She's not the OSC, but she's a good friend of mine, and I think her videos are great. Do I own any object show merch? Yes, I do. I mainly have chocolate bar, these inanimate insanity plushies, and shirts. I was too late to get test tube though, but maybe when she gets on sale again, I'll get her. And computer. His foot fell off though. I'm also planning to hopefully get Chalky and Liam or any other plushie that's gonna come out in the future. What's a big inspiration of yours slash what influenced your art style and how long have you been doing your art? I've started drawing since I was a kid, but more actively since around 2013, which was the time that I was 10 years old. I was influenced by media and other fandoms I was into and artists that I looked up to over the years, especially now considering I'm into the OC. It has influenced me a lot lately. Do you like BFB or II? Since you said BFB specifically, and II is too vague, so I don't know if you mean II in general or a specific season, but I'm gonna have to say II. What does it feel like to be a famous Filipino object show artist? I guess in a technical sense, I am considered famous and I guess it's pretty unique. 
I really appreciate you guys' support and I'm very grateful to be able to do what I do. Plus, I'm literally just a guy in my room with a blanket literally over his head right now. So, I try to be a good influence to you guys. When, how, and why did I join the OSC? I answered this last year, but TLDR, an ex-friend introduced it to me in late 2020, early 2021, but I didn't get fully into it until September of 2021, and here I am now. I guess the reason why I joined is because of how charming these shows are, and it feels like anyone can make their own. What do you think of X, Y, and Z ship? Well, I'm fine with any ship as long as it's not problematic, examples being incest, big age differences, and abusive dynamics, etc. Though I do believe that every abusive ship is toxic, but not every toxic ship is abusive. Like, let's say Suitcase X Nickel. It's definitely abusive since Nickel verbally and mentally scarred her, so it would never work out between the two. Meanwhile, with something like Silverbrush, they both often butt heads and it gets quite toxic, but it never crosses the line of abusive, so there's a difference. Will we see some inanimate swap slash exanimate insanity content on your channel, and will it come out in 2024? For those who don't know, since I mainly posted this on Twitter slash Tumblr, it's a swap AU I made with my lovely friend Madame Insanity, where characters switch personalities with each other, like Lightbulb with Paintbrush and OJ and Taco, etc etc. You can check the full master post on my Twitter and Tumblr over here. And to be honest, I don't know what kind of video I'd make of it. It also reminds me of my fans vs flop say you where the season 3 least favorites are actually in the show. So I don't know if you guys would want that or not. We'll see. What's your opinion on any and all OSC lore in general? I think it's really cool how different object shows tackle their lore and seeing the audience's reaction to it basically. What was your inspiration for Tanri and Ghost Twins and who's your favorite OCs? Oh, I never thought I'd get questions about my OCs. In case you didn't know, I'm the creator of the Ghost Twins FNF mod featuring Tanner and Marie. Spoiler alert though, they get fused into an amalgamated ghost in the third phase. My inspiration for it was the idea of the kind of ghosts they were. They're not like the typical ghosts that are just made of air, they're more ectoplasm -y. I also wanted a third phase where they weren't mad at boyfriend but rather at each other. So they fuse into this emotional mess and need help from boyfriend to get him out of it. I guess an obvious inspiration too would be the Amagamates from Undertale. And as for a favorite OC, again it's hard to pick one, but an honorable mention is this new character I made for a new show that Lucas aka Zombie Turtle 17, creator of Optic Fuffle, is currently working on. Their name is Illy and she is silly. This is her first character design. I based it off of how I wouldn't draw the necks of characters sometimes when I draw and remembered limbless characters exist and went with that. Then a good friend, Scrambled Egu, helped simplify them and here they are. Look at how silly she is. She's a pretty recent favorite of mine lately, so yeah, thanks for the question. How can you improve as an artist? Do you have any tips? Well, the only way to improve is to keep drawing. Take some time out of your day to just grab your drawing utensil and put something down. A tip I could give comes from the Adventure Time quote, Sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. So I also suggest never scribbling or erasing out any old or messy drawings so you can see your progress in the future. So what's your favorite character in BFDI? In the first season, my favorite would be Flower because of how unapologetically mean she was. Even though she was the first and last person to be eliminated, she didn't get that much screen time but she really stuck with me for the most part when I first watched it. Why are you the silliest Billy? <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's a way to express myself. Tiki giggles, kick likes, blushes. Okay, there's a lot of questions here, so I can't reel all of them at once, so I'm just gonna have to go on a lightning round. Play Doh from Burner. BFDIA lately has been very fun to watch. One, I looked up to a lot of art and animation YouTubers, and two, I wanted to spend my time on something. My favorite video that I made is this had better come to a stop because it was fun to imagine Nichols' POV and his whole arc in season 2 and partially in season 3. I don't really have a video or short that I really hate. I know that I have made videos about stuff that I'm not into anymore, but they were all part of my learning process. I mean, obviously, I look up to the Huang twins at the key 3 of II. Yes, already answered, and I'm also still surprised by it. Okay, so it's specifically BFDI or III, so I'll have to choose BFDI for this one because without it, we wouldn't be here in the first place. What is one project you had the most fun making or contributing to? 
Well, most of people don't know this, but I'm a storyboarder in Brian aka Bribey's ongoing project Starlight. It's been very fun working and hanging out with him, and I'm so excited for you guys to check it when it comes out. How have you been recently? Good, thanks for asking. What's something that you did while you were gone that was fun and interesting? Well, besides attending a couple conventions, I made new friends and went to karaoke, which was very fun. Thoughts on the OSC awardees on Twitter? I think it's very interesting to watch how people get others to vote for them. <laughs> Favorite object show and thoughts on BFDI A9? Well, as I've said, it's really hard to choose, but besides mainly BFDI and II, an honorable mention I have is Greenie's new show, Animatic Battle. It's so funny, and I love Greenie stuff, so check it out if you haven't already. I love BFDI A9. I love the chaos, I love the humor, the drama low key was very interesting. Definitely a pretty big 10 out of 10 episode for me. Crunchy Cat, yes or no? Yes. Any New Year's resolutions? It's not too late to set some. Ah, well, I mean, mainly it's to be happy, like perhaps being more comfortable with myself and be able to hang out with people and make more friends this year. What inspires you to make your object Sona? My beanie character mainly came from my online persona who already wears a beanie. And it's because in real life I like wearing beanies when I have the chance. How did you get into the FNF community? Back then, I got into it because of its funky music and rhythm gameplay, and I love rhythm games. And like any community, I drew fan art for it, then came up with my own little mods, and that was that. What art programs have you used, and what's your recent art program? When I first started, I had MS Paint and Cracked Photoshop. Then I went to Fire Alpaca, and now I've been using Metabang for quite a few years now. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? It's very basic, but I mainly like chocolate and cookies and cream. How tall are you? I mean, I haven't checked in a while, but I've been around 5 foot. What's your opinion on pickle? Are you talking about the vegetable or the character from Ai? Ai? I mean, I haven't tried pickles in real life, but in the show, I think he's a pretty decent character and it's funny how he canonically has depression. I honestly wish we see more of him and the other season 1 characters someday. Who from Ai Ai and BFB would you say is the best contestants? Well, strategically in III, there is a reason why Silverspoon has made it so far. He doesn't deserve the win, but he did come so far by actually being competitive. And as for BFB, Teardrop honestly did what she could. I think as announcer said, she played a really good game. Are there any OSC characters that you want to hug and could you draw that scenario with the character's reaction? I could. I mean, I did say I wanted to give Suitcase a big hug because she deserves it. So here's a little doodle of it since you asked so nicely. Do you like candy? I do, but I can live without it for a long while. Why is Corny here? Well, I had to have something to grab your attention. Pizza or ice cream? I mean, on one hand, pizza is very delicious, but it's also very unhealthy. But then there's also ice cream, which is a good comfort food, but it could hurt my teeth if it's too cold. Both have pros and cons, honestly, so I mean, I could just say both. Favorite and least favorite team in Teapot. Honestly, my favorite Teapot team is Death Pact again. Who would have guessed? Because the current arc is the most interesting to me, and it's not just because Tree is in it. <clears throat> my least favorite team, I guess, would have to be the S. It's not like they're a bad team, all the teams have their own thing going on, but the S just interests me the least, so I'm sorry. And last but not least, uh, are you a furry? Not really. I know my username and my whole brand kind of gives off that vibe, but I don't really have any interest in the furry fandom. I got this username from a 2014 username generator and ran with it. Still thinking if I should ever change it though, or is it too late? And well, that was all the questions. Kind of a funny question to end on. Thank you guys again for sending them, and also supporting me still. I'm so excited to be back and making new content. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a full in-depth video of stuff like a character tier list, or an object show tier list, or turning the characters into humans, or an explanation of exanimate insanity and or fans versus flops, or maybe even a tier list of my own videos. Also, I just realized 90% of you aren't actually subscribed, which is a real bummer. So like, go subscribe if you haven't. I also heard that the button glows when I say that, so that gives you more incentive to check if you're subscribed to my channel. And also, hit the like button, cause I heard it does that too. And hit the bell too so you won't miss the next time I upload. Anyway, that's all. See ya!